In this video, we're heading to Bristol to shoot a one hour POV street photography challenge with the Fujifilm GFX 100S. One hour POV street photography with the Fujifilm GFX 100S. Let's go. Uh, so I'm shooting all of these in uh, the new film profile that's on this camera, nostalgic negative. Uh, all the shots will be straight out of camera. No editing on this video. And it's a beautiful day here in Clifton, Bristol. Let's see what we can get.
this guy here. like doing something like kind of at the desk yeah. I know it's really right I'm just testing out this <laughs> no. um, new camera just like pretend I'm not there like <laughs> no I appreciate that thank you very much That's appreciate right. it man cheers <laughs> <clears throat> That's technically cheating. That looks sick though. All right, that's the end of the challenge. That's my hour done. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, behind the scenes and images I got. It was a very cold, wet, miserable day in, uh, in Clifton and Bristol. So in terms of what I like to normally shoot in, in street photography, it wasn't ideal, the light was very flat, but it was a good opportunity to show off what the GFX100S can produce straight from camera. So like I said in the beginning of the video, all of the shots in the video were literally straight out of camera, just shot using their new uh, nostalgic negative profile. In terms of uh, a street photography camera, yeah, you're not gonna buy a GFX100S and shoot street photography with it, uh, at least I don't think you would. Although you can, it's not really ideal. It's, it's not inconspicuous in the slightest. And although it is a smaller body, 
when you are putting those GF lenses on the front, you do stand out a mile. Uh, saying that, the upgrade from three frames a second uh, on the old 50S and 50R to five frames a second was welcome. So I managed to use the burst mode a few times in that video uh, to great effect. Um, IBIS was really helpful. Yeah, I just think the images coming straight out of the camera look really nice. Um, if you do want to see the edited versions of some of the shots, go check out my Instagram because I've started posting some of the edits on there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go into a, a bit more of a review of the camera in a couple of videos time, so I'm not going to say too much else about it. Um, just want to say a big thank you to Clifton Cameras for letting me borrow the camera for that weekend. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below which was your favourite image. Mine personally was the, uh, the gold guy with the, the shopping bag. I, I really like that shot. It's probably one of my favourites from the day. But yeah, next week we're going to look at some low light night street photography with the 100S and then the week after we're going to do a bit more of a uh, deep dive review of my experience with the camera over that weekend. But uh, for this video, thanks very much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.